The children of a woman buried in a city-owned cemetery came to Action News when they couldn't get the answers they needed. They wanted to know where her temporary headstone was and why the cemetery is still such a mess after flooding problems were supposed to have been addressed last year. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live from the Detroit's east side now with a look at how the city is responding to this, Kim. Yes, and the city says that one of the things the family saw on Mother's Day was not appropriate, and they are addressing just that. This family says they've been waiting weeks for answers after finding not even simple pins were left in the ground to mark so many graves. So now we now we caught in the point of where we're trying to figure out, is this a marker that they just placed or my mom under there, you know? It's just you feel so empty, you don't know. Loved ones of Wanda Marshall are upset and wanting answers from the city-owned Gethsemane Cemetery on Detroit's east side. Last year for Mother's Day, I decided to get my mom a temporary headstone until her permanent headstone was paid for. So they escorted me out here to install that temporary headstone, which was Mother's Day last year. But in this video, the family shot on Mother's Day, their mom's temporary headstone is gone, and a number of metal pin markers were sitting in a pile. Someone else's headstone is out of place and randomly stacked on another. You know, I knew this flood happened last year, so why would this place be still under construction? A spokesman for the city of Detroit says the cemetery has a history of flooding problems that they are trying to address. In 2015, a company by the name of ST Enterprises began managing the cemetery, and we're told they have had to move some headstones to add dirt to try to stabilize the ground. But Wanda Marshall's children say they were told her temporary headstone was removed, and no one can tell them where it went. And when they pick them up, they're not sure where the city housed those. After seeing this picture, the city says they are going to make sure that if the management company has to move headstones to work in an area, that they will do so in a more orderly and respectful way. And they will have the manager take this family out and use measurements to reassure them that pin marker 108, which wasn't here on Mother's Day, is where their mom is still buried. Whatever they got to do to indicate that we know this is our mother, we here seeing our loved one, I think that we deserve that much. And a city spokesman says that while the manager here does not know anything about that temporary headstone, he will work with the family on getting a permanent one in place. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Feel for that family. Kimberly, thank you for the report.